Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a great little feature for you today. We've got this little flip box here. When I roll over it, it's going to flip and present another image with some text and we've got a little call to action button. Nice little interactive feature to have on your site there. And this is absolutely free today. We're using a, a free plugin called Divi Supreme Lite and it comes with 20 modules and you can take a look at them right here we're using the flip box today but there's some great ones and we'll demo these over the coming weeks just go ahead and roll down and download it when you're ready just like any other plugin you want to go to your in plugins once it's downloaded hit add new hit upload plugin at the top there and then simply drag your downloaded plugin up here and drop it there or hit choose file and browse to your download location. Once you've uploaded it, install it and activated it. Once it's activated, you'll see this little Divi Supreme in your menu to the left hand side here. Not only does it come with those 20 modules here, you've actually got some extensions as well. Library shortcodes, scheduled content and Divi templates. And we'll cover those in different videos too. So let's get started with our little flip box here. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, I'm going to go down. I've got a section here, a little blue tab up there with a row, green tab right here. I've got my module in the left hand. Let's put one in the right hand column here. I'm going to hit the little black button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here, plenty enough to build any site. When you add the Divi Supreme modules light, you'll get these blue ones here. And like I say, there's about 20 of them. We're going to use the flip box today. And here it is right here. Simply going to left click on it. Just move this over so we can see what we're doing. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is add a new item. And this will be at the front of our flip card here. Or our flip box, I should say. We'll go into the text. Obviously, put your title there. If you want a subtitle, put it in down below. And of course, we need to put our content in here. This is a regular text box. You can put your content in, you can align it, bold, italicize, make lists, link things, make block quotes, and of course, add media if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just like that. I've got no real text, obviously, you would have. Down below that, we've got image and icon, where you can ch choose to add an image. Let's just put one in there for the sake of it. It puts it on the top by default. I'm actually going to use an icon for mine today, but if you want to use an image, that's how it's going to sort of add it to it. I'm going to flip this. Let's just get rid of that image. I'm going to flip this to on to use an icon. And let's just use a right hander as we're going to be flipping to that way. Okay, moving on down. Here we've got a link. If you want to actually link this module to somewhere, the whole module, you can put your link in here. And remember, this is this side. I probably wouldn't do that purely because this is going to flip when we go over it. So I'd leave that blank. But if you do want to put a link, that's fine. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. You can put a button in here if you want to. Button won't show up until you actually put a URL in there. If I put that in there, and a bit of text, you'll see the button turn up. I'm not going to have a button on the front end there. I don't see the point if it's going to flip like it is at the moment. So I'm going to take those away. Okay, background. You can go to town with your backgrounds as usual. You've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern and background mask. Let's pop a little color in and an image perhaps. We'll use purple for the front of this one. As you can see, it's right there. And let's add an image and blend the two together. So I'm gonna add a background image, grab any image that you wanna pop up there. As you can see, it's put that image in the background. You may be wondering why it looks like it's sort of not filling out and I'll show you that in a minute. Don't want to use a parallax, but I do want to blend it with that purple color that we had back there. So right at the bottom, you'll find background image blend. I'm going to flip mine to multiply. 
do play with these though as you can see that's purpled out the background then when I make the text light it's going to be a lot more visible but do play with these you can get some wonderful effects um, with these other little settings here but for me multiply is going to work today but like I say do play because there's some wonderful effects you can get okay let's move on to our design here here's the image and icon I'm going to make my icon white you can use icon font size if you want to make it bigger or smaller I'm going to leave mine just as it is and you can put box shadow under if you want to but again I'm going to leave mine just like that below we've got our text I think I'm going to pop mine in the middle I know it's hard for you to see at the moment but let's make it light in color so you can see it now and as you can see if I take my mouse off of there the text is kind of falling off the end but we've got stuff pretty much the way I want it there and we'll fix that height in just a second body text and title text you can actually do these separately if you want to for your title text let's make this bold perhaps see the titles bolded out there let's capitalize it that's fine and as with most things Divi you've got all these options for both the header and the body text and the subheading text too Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts it really does if you want to audition one simply roll over it and it'll give you an example like that I'm going to leave mine on the default today but if you want to flip you can do that with the text heading and the subtext as you see here I'm going to leave mine just like that sizing wise we're not going to size it here we'll size it back in the main module remember we're just adding this flip box at the moment I will give it some padding all around I'm going to give it 50 pixels of padding all around which again you're not going to really see till I re resize this thing just put in the 50 it'll put in the pics for you hit the chain it'll do the opposite side okay well I'm fairly happy with that apart from the actual height of it so let's save this and it'll take us back to the main flip box settings here let's go to design and we, now we can go down to sizing here and it's got a default height of 200 pixels which is why our text is filling out I'm gonna make mine say 300 just type in a value or you can use the slider put in the number it'll put in the pics for you and you can increment up and down with the little arrows to the side if you want to there we go we can see a lot more of it now we can see our 50 pics padding that we gave it around and it's the same height as our one next door looks like one next door has got a bit of box shadows let's just finish off this side or at least this whole module here with a bit of box shadow just like the one next door great so I'm happy with the front side so we need to flip it around and give them perhaps a call to action on the back side there so again let's go back to our content and I'm going to go down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this rather than start from scratch so we're going to have most of our settings if I just do this now and roll over it you'll see we've got exactly the same on the back side there so let's go in and style this one a little bit differently so we can see the difference between the two when we flip again you've got title subtitle content I'm gonna leave that exactly as it is I'm gonna get rid of the icon on the back side there as you can see that's gone this time I am gonna have a button on this side so let's go into the button and obviously put what you want your button to say right there the link where you want to take people when they click on your button right there and obviously best practices are the same if we flip there's our little button you can style the button too over in design I'm not going to do that let's go into the background and I'm going to flip that color to blue perhaps and we'll flip out that image for a different image let's just pop that one in there there we go different image okay moving on to our design here I think I'm just going to go down to text I'm going to make mine left aligned here which puts everything on the left which works for me for this one and that's pretty much all I'm going to do I think I might take that title up in a bit in size so let's go down to our title text yeah, let's bring it up to say 30 pixels or something like that 32 is fine fantastic everything's fitting and working well there of course you can do text size letter spacing and line height everything's good for me at the moment 
I'll put a bit, a bit of text shadow off on that as it's large text or fairly large text. And I think we're pretty good to go. So again, if I save this, we're going to go back to the main flip box settings here. And you can go down to your design and make sure you're in your Supreme flip box, not in one of your modules. If you go down to the design, you'll find animation at the bottom. And you can choose to flip it right, which we're doing at the moment which works for me with my little right arrow, but you've got options to flip left, up or down if you prefer. And you can change your animation speed or the time it actually takes to flip right there. Again, I'm pretty happy with the way that's working. So if all has gone well, we should have our little module down. Let's save the changes. We'll save the page changes. And let's exit the visual builder. And we'll go on down. There's our first one that we had initially. Here's our second one that we just created there. And there it is. We can click on the button, take people places, let go. It's going to go back. And like I say, that's a nice little interactive feature to have on your website. Really easy to do. Once again, we've been using the free Divi Supreme Lite modules for that today. Just click on the more info button when you get there and follow the links to the download to download it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.